Hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. Gosh, we're not going to talk about how I literally woke up like 20 minutes ago. And I'm, that's not even a flex. That's just me saying that like I'm so sorry in advance for my brain just being not here completely. Um, I've been having major like sleep problems throughout the day and throughout the night. So sleep debt, it's a real thing. Y'all caught up to me. But to be fair, I did stay up really late with friends um, playing games and also watching a movie. So I, I'm i not blaming it completely on my inability to sleep. I'm just blaming also on my um, poor decisions. But hi, how are you guys today? Um, today we're going to be building the Sunflower Barn. I am sorry in advance if Streamlabs does anything stupid. Um, if I'm being honest, Streamlabs has been like... It's been really evil to me recently. So let me see if I can like... I'm adjusting this on live um, thing. So like, I'm sorry if this looks a little weird. Just just go with it. You guys don't see anything, okay? There we go. Sorry, it was bothering me. The way that there was like a black bar and stuff on my screen and you guys couldn't see it, it was bothering me. Anyways, now it looks okay. So, oh, I can't show you guys this place. This is a member barn. Oh my gosh. Need to be careful. Anyway, so now we're going to see the updated sunflower barn. Um, I've been working pretty hard on this one with Riley and Jenny. Riley and Jenny have been like putting in a lot of work as well. Um, Jenny helped with the roof. All we have to do is finish the middle of the roof or all Jenny has to do because I don't know how to do it. But currently Jenny is busy with exams. So we're going to be working on some of the other schematics today. Um, but this is the roof currently. I love the roof design because if you look on the inside, it has like the beam supporting and I, I'm a sucker for beams. I love when the roof isn't just like completely hollow on the inside and I love how Jenny did it so much. Sorry, my phone ringer. Why be loud? Be quiet. Okay, I'm gonna open up my vitamin water while I'm talking. If you hear that noise, it's me opening up my, my dwink. I can't show that one. Yeah, Melody Grove. Listen, so many people loved Melody Grove and I was so surprised because Melody Grove was like the one, like it was one that I barely worked on. Like I just, the only thing I did that was like somewhat impressive on Melody Grove was the stall sides and you guys loved the stall sides. I think I'm going to do stall sides on this one too, but I don't know because I don't want everyone to have to get chisels and bits. A lot of people say they don't like chisels and bits or like it's really laggy. So I think I'm going to make some versions with chisels and bits and some without. Anyway, so yeah, this is the barn so far. We have the middle, which is also one of my favorites because I wanted to do like tangled flower design. <gasps> Jenny designed this. Oh, sorry, big yawn. Yeah. Hi, welcome to the stream. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Abby, as well. My gosh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I, I wish I had like a song prepared like on my soundboard, but I do not. I'm still setting it up. Um, I'm unsure if I want to keep this wall just because there's like a gap right there and I don't like it. I'm, I'm still unsure if that's what I want to do, but I like it so far. Oh, the, the reason there's a gap is because there's supposed to be like something up here. Oopsie, silly me. Is that how it looks on the other side? Yeah. I was like, guys, there's a gap and I don't like it. And then I just realized. Um, what we're going to be doing is working on like a pasture or an arena. What I really want for this barn is like, I want like arenas that are like woven to the pathway. Like I want not really like, um, not really even pathways, like really like exact pathways. I still like like the kind of the, I don't know what to call them. Like the open pathways where like there's no real like theme for it. It's just like windy in a way. That's the word I was looking for. I was going to say willy nilly, but that's like, yeah. Um, that's probably not the correct terminology for it, but I kind of like pastures like that. But I also like part of me is like, I really want like a fancy, like even, um, pathway so that I can like have pastures like wind around it but I don't know yet so for now I'm just gonna make normal pastures 
and we'll just edit as we go. Um, I usually do just like the white fence, but I don't know what I'm going to be doing. This is a free barn, so I have to remind myself not to work too hard on it. But since this is like such a fancy barn, I do want to put work into it because you guys haven't gotten a free barn since like what, February? January? Like when did you guys get your last free barn? It's, you guys, you guys are, you guys need to be spoiled. It's time. Hi, Joel. Also, I turned down Streamlabs as, like, messages, but they're still going at, like, the same consistency. So I'm sorry in advance about that. Um, let's see. Let's put together a pathway palette. Uh, this is, like, more of, like, a tan flooring. So I'm thinking we have something to do with a tan pathway. I mean, SWDM pathway. Let's see. Um, I'm going to do pale. Mm, I don't want to do light gray terracotta. Can I do, um, what is it called? Concrete powder? That may look good as well. Oh, that's star worm. Where's the normal? There we go. I don't know how this is going to look. I may remove the pale sandstone, but we're going to try it, okay? We're going to get our trusty dusty wand. Let's do... I'm gonna do pale, brown concrete powder, andesite, cobblestone. Let's do like three to start off with. That may be too big. Okay, yeah, that does not look right. Oh, you know what I need to do? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the pale sandstone. I'm gonna see if this works. If not, I'll put it back in. It's just really like intense. Let's do like 10%, 10%. We're doing mathematics right now, y'all. Mathematics. And then that would leave with 70% of grass because you know 30%. Oopsies, okay. <laughs> grass block, forgot to specify. Always specify grass block. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, no, but I do have some exciting projects to share soon for um, my server. So as you guys know, we've been working on my server for a hot minute now. And a lot of you also know that my server will be for members only. It was made for members only in the first place. It wasn't like I want people to have to pay to get in. It was more of like a thank you to members for supporting me because I had so many members who I felt like weren't getting enough for the money that they were putting into my channel. I know like support is like there's really no like payback for that kind of stuff other than just continuing. But I don't know. I just like I always felt so like grateful but I couldn't exactly like express that without giving you guys something that you'd want to do because you know a lot of my channel subscribers are based on swim or like horse games so I was like you know what I need to give you guys something decent for supporting me and that was the only thing I could really think of was a server. But it's not just going to be like, it's going to be adventure. It's going to be farming. We're going to have a quest system lined up. Like I'm already writing lore for a quest. It may not be exactly like developed. I'll probably have to get like a mod to to do like quest stuff. I know like FTB quests, but it's probably going to be mostly like signs and stuff. But you guys are going to be able to go on little hunts and get some cool stuff. And we're going to have like weekly events well more than just like once a week but you know like every week we're gonna have events i'm gonna allow um people to host their own events and give them like 
the ability to because I feel like a lot of servers are like, yeah, host an event, but you have to pay for yourself. And I'm like, what was the point of that? You're basically just, um, you're basically just forcing people to pay for the events that you want held. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't see that being useful. So I'm just going to be helping you guys out that way. Do we like this pathway? I don't know. I feel like once there's trees and stuff around, it's going to look better, but I may just go back to the sandstone pail. Hold on. Let me show you guys for reference. This song reminds me of Home Alone. I don't, but I think Abigail Pinehaven has one for Mac. If I did have a Mac, I would put out a tutorial, but I don't really know how to download mods in general on a Mac because I've never owned a Mac before. I'm sorry, but I think it's kind of the same concept as Windows. It's just like Mac version. Because I've seen somebody do a, a Mac mod download tutorial. I watched it so I could help a friend and it's basically the same concept. Like it's, yeah. Uh, we're going to do sandstone pale. I'm not going to change this permanently. Yeah, see, I don't know. That's like lighter on the eyes. And since we're doing sunflower, I don't know. Or I can do golden. Pale's like really bright, but at the same time, I don't know if I like like the harsh brown of the like with the lighting and everything with the barn if the barn was lighter i would do brown because it's like the coloring is even i don't know if i like that either it looks like too yellow i don't know i'm indecisive i'll put a poll up for you guys because i have problems concrete powder How long have I been muted for? What is going on? I'm I was I was un I was unmuted. I'm 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 unmuted. I saw your chats. I'm like, oh my gosh. Why does my Streamlabs do that? I'm sorry. 
Oh my gosh. That happened last stream too. I think Streamlabs just hates me. Like it physically mutes on Streamlabs. Anyways, what I was trying to say is if you guys ever want like a PC build and you're genuinely like serious on getting a PC build, you can always tag my brother Ice Knight. Um, his name is Joel in the Discord and he can get you a PC build or somewhat of a PC build. The only problem with that is you'd have to build your own PC. With NZXT and like other pre-built companies, they come pre-built. So all you have to do is like plug them in or like take out the foam, plug them in and boom, PC. Like it's, it's really easy. Uh, you guys said let's do golden. All right. Easy peasy. Yeah, I don't know why my Streamlabs does that. I have to keep an eye on it now. See, the thing about OBS, though, is it lags me so... Like, it makes my stream look so choppy. I may try OBS one or two times for my stream. I have a stream tomorrow for members, and then I have a stream on Sunday for everyone, so... I may just try OBS for the members one since there's not like a ton of people there and I can always just like switch over to Streamlabs really quick for members. Animal Crossing is so good. Okay. Um, so I don't, I like it, but at the same time, it's just like the consistency of the coloring with the golden compared to the bar. It's just like really aggressive, but I haven't actually put down trees or anything yet. So I feel like I'm speaking too soon okay so now you guys need to help me choose okay are we doing start a poll I'm putting out a poll for you guys. I think I know what happened. I clicked on Streamlabs and I recently just clicked on like the mute button. And it like, I think I pressed space and it automatically muted because I had the mute button selected. So I just clicked off the mute button and hopefully it doesn't happen again because that's annoying. I've never played a gacha game. Is that how you say it? I've seen a lot about it. And there's a lot of videos about it, like the little music video stuff. No, Pancake, you're not too late. We've only been going for 20 minutes. And most of it's just been me building and talking. So it's like... And showing the barn. Okay, a lot of you guys are saying windy, no real shape. How many people said, I don't know what's going on? 21%. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. We're going to do um, a pasture fence. We're going to do the fence tool. And I'm thinking we should do, I want to do a design with it. So let's go and grab some stuff from the barn to make like a little fence design. I used to just do like fences, like just by themselves, but I'm going to be honest. I've seen a lot of uh, designs IRL that I'm like, that would be so cute put in Minecraft, but a lot of them don't connect. Like for example, the oak, the oak picket fence, right? You put it down. It, it connects, but it doesn't. Like, this is their idea of connecting it. It's just this. Well, like, this space, it bothers me. It bothers me. So we're not going to do that. We're going to do actual blocks. I don't know if you guys are the same when, like, in textures, there's, like, a gap. And you're like, well, what's the point? What is the point? Um, I don't know if I want this or... We're going to get rid of these. I'm just gathering stuff from around the barn to see if I can... Ooh. Speaking of that... I get oak, right? And then I can get... I can get an oak plank. Wow, like a stripped oak, I think it's called. It's not like an oak plank. Well, I can get an oak plank, but I kind of want the stripped log one. Where are you? I feel like I passed it multiple times. Yeah, I did. Little bit slow. There we go. 
I also am going to try not to put like lanterns and flower boxes everywhere because so many people are saying that my Emerald Springs arena and everything is so glitched. It's really not. It's just the flower boxes because there's so many decorations on it and like lanterns and everything, the design. It doesn't paste on one go. You have to paste it multiple times. So I'm going to try and achieve this look without like a bunch of decorations on it because I, I will go ham with the decorations if I can. And I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to make a couple designs and you guys are going to tell me if it's cute, okay? And be honest. You won't hurt my feelings. Trust me. I don't know if I like that, but we're just going to go with it, okay? I wish we had like a sunflower thing that didn't just... I know sunflowers face the sun, but I, I just I don't like it. So we're going to do yellow and pink. I think yellow and pink is like the best combination out there. Just saying. I don't think it's just sticking up like that. We're just going to do that. There we go. I don't like how like out of place it looks. So we have that one. I'll obviously add like toppers to it if we choose to. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna add just yet, but there's that one. I may change the footers. And then we're gonna have, I don't know if I like this one so far. To be honest chat, it's not, it's not looking too good. We're going to have kind of the same concepts. But that, huh? Isn't that cool? I don't know if I want the chain. I kind of want just the fence. Does the fence connect directly to the block, though, is my question. Kind of. I don't like how it doesn't connect there, so we're going to do this instead. Oh, that bothers me. Oh, that also bothers me. What if I could do like this? No, it still doesn't connect. <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like that at all. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm thinking of ideas in my, my noggin, so I'm kind of silent. We could also do something with the fence. Ooh, you know what we could do? Now, this is kind of an iffy idea, because I'm pretty sure uh, swim jumps can, like, glitch out an entire arena if you rotate them. But we could try. I'll just, I don't know. Is it even worth it if it's going to, like, lag out people's games if they try to rotate the jump or, like, the pasture? I was going to do the thing with the jumps. Like, would that be evil to put that in a in a thing, like a schematic that people want to rotate, you know? Oh, my God. Two, three, four, five. Okay. I am facing the same direction. How dare you? Right, so we could do this. Have the top. How dare you? Have the top rail. And then come over here. Either grab the leaves or the hedges. I'm not sure which yet. We're going to grab both just in case. I don't know if I like that or like, I could do like in between, kind of. 
And then we could have this. I'm kind of, kind of liking it. I don't know if I want like clay on top though. Like right here we could do, wait, do we have, do we have just a slab somewhere? Please, one slab, just one, thank you. No, that looks completely out of place. It's too much yellow, but we're gonna do something else. I could just do like an actual oak slab and just make it like half a block taller. Do the good old like looks out of place but isn't out of place trick. That's what I call it at least. We could do a trap door too. Um, let's do a lighter trap door because this is like a lighter barn. Let me see what kind of trap doors we got. We got bamboo trap doors. It makes me think of bombastic side eye um i could just do yellow oh i don't think cork has the blossom trap doors that's okay i'll cry about it later um i kind of like this one the jungle style i'm getting off topic where's the slab i just saw it thank you I don't know if I like that. Oh my god. You know, let me just like... I don't want to clear my CITs because I I haven't put them in a chest yet. But like, I have so many CITs. I need to go put them in my CIT chest so I don't lose them. Hi, that's not really fair to say. What if somebody really wants kids? Where's my flower pot? Thank you. Okay, well, we could try with one flower box. I don't know. Pink tulip. Oh my god, that'd be so cute. You can't you can barely even see the dandelion in there. Where's where's the color in that dandelion? Where's my yellow tulip? Where is it? Do we not have a yellow tulip? I swear we had a yellow. We don't? Well, I am I crazy? I swear to god we had a yellow tulip. Well what am I supposed to do? We can't do a sunflower, can we? I guess, but it's like pointed away. How like? Like it's just it's it's shy, and I don't like that. <sighs> that just that ruined my entire day right there. We'll just do. The dandelions are so small in like the flower box, though. That's what I don't like. Like, they don't even show up as yellow. The dandelions are literally, like... I feel scammed. Okay, well... I'm not happy about that, but it's whatever. Whatever. I'll live, laugh, love through that, I guess. So stupid. Like, I understand the sunflowers do that IRL. It's like cool realism and everything. But it's like, why in the flower box does it face the same way every single time? All right. And then we have... Um, we could do sunflowers like this way. Is the sunflower actually facing that way? Yeah, no, it is. It's 
It's not even moving. Yeah, the sunflower doesn't even move. All right. Ooh, ooh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Do half barrel. Wait, no, that wouldn't look good because there's already leaves there. I don't know, maybe we just leave this open. No, this is a fence, but I don't know if I'm going to go with this just yet. I may just leave it as a jump or something like that or use it for another design because... I don't know. I don't know if it'll be like very, uh, very fence esque. <sighs> Excuse me, big yawn. Really? I thought that the sunflower faces wherever that the sun was in the sky. My bad. So they, they could like draw in all the sunlight. I think I've just been uneducated my entire life. We could have like little carpets where the, where the leaves are. And of course, like the, the pasture is going to have like a ton of like, it's going to have a ton of trees in it, you know? So if I were to copy this, right, and I were to, like, paste it over here, it pastes, yeah, sometimes it's, uh, it's so glitchy. Like, I think that's my biggest frustration about some of these modded items, is they're so glitchy. It's so risky to make, like, modded fences, and I really want to. Okay, that one worked just fine. What, but if I rotate it, it's not going to work the same. I mean... I take back what I said. Okay, my bad. I'm sat. My mouth is shut. Minecraft was like, sit down. Alright, so now it's the, the choice. Are we doing this one? Which, I'm not against this option at all. I just feel like this one's like... It just looks so much neater. This one just looks like really loud how is that like a i don't know is that like a, a mean thing to say about a fence that i made i think i'm just gonna go with this one the only problem is you guys 48 percent of you guys said windy no real shape and this one's gonna have to have shape but I mean, I could try to make it so that it doesn't have, like, it doesn't have an actual shape. That's just the front of the pasture. I'll, I'll try to improvise for you guys. Since you guys did have a pole, and you, I'm going to respect the pole as much as possible. Kind of rhymed. All right. Streamlabs, why are you being... Why dumb? I have a new donation goal, by the way, for May. I haven't streamed since the beginning of May. It's been so weird not streaming so often, but I am creating a lot of content, so it's, it's giving me a lot of time to, like, also relax. I've been able to relax the last day or two, and with my seasonal depression coming in, like, full force, it's, it's great. Because I've already told you guys I have seasonal depression during summertime. And, like, this last week, it was so bad. I slept for, like, half the day. That's not a flex. But at the same time, I'm happy that I'm able to sleep that often when I'm, like, really feeling not great. Because it, it helps my... It doesn't burn me out as quick, you know? But I am getting a job soon. So I don't know how that's going to go with my depression, but... <laughs> 
we'll see. It has, it has like phases to it. It's not too bad. Okay, so let's try this. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna be making plenty with YouTube and my job and then another like, oppor like opportunity I'm coming up on. So I'm very excited about that. It's gonna be a lot of work, but like it's worth it. Because if I ever want to move out and, like, actually, um, you know, get my own place and stuff, I'm going to have to do that. Because YouTube's always been, like, a primary for me. Like, I focused for years on YouTube. And that's not a bad thing. I'm, like, very happy that I was, you know, I had the opportunity to focus solely on YouTube. But it's getting to the point now where I have to, like, prioritize, you know, my financials in a way that benefits me and my cat and me so. So... Yeah, it won't be full-time. It'll be part-time, but still. Okay, do we like this? And then maybe we can, like, take this, right? Get a pasture fence. Not like that. Ah, uh, stop. There we go. But, I don't know. I've had friends in college that worked, like, three jobs. So, it's not that big of a deal. I'll be able to, like... I'll just have to be a little bit stricter with my schedule. But, yeah. Right now, I've been, like, staying up pretty late with friends. But I'm not going to be able to do that in a while. Which is like isn't bad. It's just like that's adulting. You kind of have to give up a lot of stuff with friends, which is like it sucks, yeah, but you gotta make it you gotta make money somehow, you know. But I'm not gonna talk about money through the stream. I don't know. I don't wanna stress anybody out. But I'm just letting you guys know that I am probably gonna begin a job in the next couple of months. Even if it's just through the summer, like just enough for me to possibly like you know put a down payment on a house or get an apartment that would be great unless my channel like blows up more which i'm not gonna like depend on that yeah sushi's my cat i love sushi i don't know if i like that I, I really don't know if I like that. That's the thing is I'm not leaving sushi behind. Like my dad keeps on making jokes that he's like, once you move, you're going to leave this cat with us. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like I'm taking this cat with me. Like partly he's joking because he wants to keep sushi. He loves sushi. But like she's my emotional support cat. Like I hate to put that burden on her. But, like, she, if she ever were to, like, leave or, like, pass away or something, I don't want to talk about it because it's sad, but, like, I don't know what i do. I love that cat to death. I don't, I'm looking at, a, at, like, a front angle, and I don't know if I like it, but at the same time, I won't know until I spawn the rest of it. I've always wanted to get sushi a friend though, so I think my first my first thing after moving into a new apartment and getting settled, because you know, owning a cat, it could be upwards to like 
overall like two or three thousand dollars in their life if they have a medical problem so i need to be ready and prepared for that but i think i want to get sushi a friend <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I was going to do like a new door design, but I don't know if you guys would like it. And I don't know if I would like it. And I don't want to base my placement of this pasture off of a door design I thought up in my head. But I think once I move, I'm going to have like a good like I like IRL type channel going to like on this channel i'm gonna have both gaming and irl sorry my voice just went i've always wanted to do vlogging but i've always been like i don't want people to see my face too much other than streams and i feel like with vlogging you're basically opening yourself up to just everyone seeing everything at all times and that's scary Um, sandstone, golden. Grass block, three. Okay. Did I do pale with it too? I did. I forgot to do 10%. That would have been funny if I, um... I did all of that and just didn't realize. Hilarious, even. I don't like how I did that. I kind of want to do something like this. And it's like more of like a, a thick opening. There we go. But yeah, that's what... Wait, what looks a little bit off in the second section? This right here, you mean? I think I'm gonna do like... Okay, so we have one, two, one. Okay, so this is two. I'm gonna do this way. Does that look a little bit better? But yeah, um, where I was going with that is I kind of want to do like an IRL channel and then I can like do videos on my animals because sushi, I've never told like sushi's full story and a lot of my sub like OG subscribers know about sushi. But I kind of want to make a video showing, like, how I got her, like, her journey and stuff like that. Same with um, Kodiak. But Kodiak is a little bit, like, I don't have a ton of footage of Kodiak when he was, like, a baby baby. Because I worked full-time as a vet tech. And I didn't have, like, a ton of time to, like, record everything with Sushi. She was always with me while I was working. So it was, like, yeah. I have a lot of videos of it. And the stream is being stupid right now. Are you lurking? Okay, so thank you for lurking. Okay, so do we are we feeling this or are we feeling another design? I'm gonna put a poll up because you girls indecisive. I know stream mobs is being stupid. I turned on the intervals like for like long intervals, but I'm gonna have to check it again if it's doing it like this. Mm 
yeah like that kind of thing i kind of want to be like like work as a vet tech again but i'm gonna be honest but the place i worked at it was really toxic and there were a lot of things that like i learned but i only learned because they were understaffed and they needed to teach me things for me to do things they actually weren't really like super willing for me to learn they were in the beginning but towards the end they were like just go bed dogs and it's like okay well what's the point it's not going to be, like, exact. I hope you guys know that. It's not going to be, like, perfectly even on both sides. But, like, for example, if I ever go on, like, a big trip, I want to bring you guys with me. Or if I get a new animal, I want you guys to be involved. Because I always have loved, like, filming stuff my entire life. I've, like, I want to film this. Even though I won't do anything with it, it's still cool. I just don't want to be, like, one of those vloggers that, like, I don't know. Like, promote something, like, iffy or something like that. But a lot of vloggers have those parts in their lives. So I'm, I'm like, do I really want to become, like, a vlogger? Or do I just want to stick to my normal content? I guess I can have, like, best of both worlds in a way. I think maybe yeah and I hate to like obviously I'm not gonna like say what company or like what vet I worked for previously but I really do hope they know like how much of like a a negative influence they had on their employees and they had on me because like I had I still have nightmares about that place and it's not like it wasn't like that traumatizing but after work I would like I'd come home for lunch because most days I would come home for lunch and like talk to my mom or something and eat like something at home so I didn't spend money and I would cry and like I, I really don't cry a lot about work because most of the time I'm like okay I'm either quitting or staying but I really love the job so I was at like two I was at like a how do I say this like a a why in the road like I was at a split in the path and I had to choose either my mental health or working and a lot of my co-workers they didn't really have the choice like they had to stay there because they had to pay their bills so like i i felt kind of selfish just leaving because i had already like learned so much and they needed help but after a certain amount of like certain time i was like do these guys even want my help or are they just like they're basically just saying that they need employees but they're not treating their employees okay and it, it kind of ticked me off they also got a brand new employee right before i left um, she was only there for, like, a short amount of time, but, um, they taught her, like, so much more in the span of, like, I don't know, like, two or three weeks. She was, like, already almost fully trained for everything, and they didn't teach me half of what they taught her, and I was just, I don't know if, like, it was me, like, was I the problem, because I've always tried to, like, be optimistic, but I never did anything to them. I was always like sweet to everyone and I'm just I'm thinking if it if it's me am I the problem okay all right Okay. There we go. But you have to remind yourself also that you're working for them. They're paying you money to work for them. And if you're going to work every day and you're crying and you're you're stressed and everything and you're you have that one person at work that just drives you crazy and they've been there longer than you and they have like power over you and you're not having fun at work anymore you're feeling like you're not it's not worth the money just leave the job obviously like line up another job if you need it like you know if you're living by yourself or you're paying like tons of rent you obviously need to like line up jobs that's the big like rule but i was so done with it that i just left without even having other jobs lined up which is not the smartest thing but i was either going to stay there and cry my eyes out every day after work or i was just going to leave and i was living well i'm still living with my parents but i was living with my parents at the time and i was like really i was still in school and i was really cautious i didn't want to leave 
Um, and then I talked with my mom and she's like, just leave. Like you're, you're obviously like mentally just not okay right now. I'm like, yeah, I know. Just, it's stupid that I had to leave such a, like a good job. And it got to the point where the vet was also being like really standoffish and really rude. Is this uneven? I'm going to cry. All right. It's off, it's off by one block. We can fix that. It got to the point where the vet was just being like also really rude. He wasn't like, he wasn't being like standoffish as much as he was just being rude to me and some other people. And since we were so understaffed, he was getting like really short tempered, which in my opinion, not really an excuse to treat your employees like crap, but um, everyone had been there for like over like, like one of the, the newest girl was there for like a year. Um, one of the oldest vet techs, she was there for like eight years. She's been there for like a long time. So everyone felt like, okay, this is just, he does this often. We need to just stick with it. But I was like, why would you like stick with a boss that does that to you? Like the one time that he brought me into the office and told me I did something wrong when he didn't tell me I did something wrong on the spot. So I didn't know I was doing something wrong, which in my opinion is kind of crap. Um, it was like, I wanted to cry, but like, that's just how criticism happens. Like you, you need to understand that they're doing it to try and like save your job. I'm probably making no sense right now. Thank you illusions for the subscribe. Yeah. And like, I was getting like a big discount off of vet care. So that's the reason that's like the biggest reason I stayed is because all of our animals, like we basically got like 30% off of everything we got the vet, which sounds like, like doesn't sound like a big amount, but if you like have like a $60, um, like a $60 thing of flea medicine and take 30% off of that, that's a lot off illusions what is up yeah but his um the my boss's wife she worked in like the office right she was really sweet about it like she really did understand i went in there crying like not crying but like i was gonna cry like she could tell i was gonna cry and i was like i got i have to like quit i have to put in my two weeks and she's like oh well, sweetheart you don't have to put in your two weeks like you could just like say this is gonna be my last day or something and i was like well i want a day or two to work a little bit more just so i can like finish off my hours and then in my paycheck right there were like six or seven hours added to my paycheck and i didn't work those hours and i, I knew my schedule so i knew i didn't work those that's like those hours and I, I'm not sure if this is what happened because I don't want to like say it was, but I'm pretty sure she added hours to my paycheck. I don't know because she handled all the paychecks. So I waited for payday, which was Friday. And then I was like, okay, this is going to be my last day. Goodbye. Which they had to basically scramble, which this, okay, this made me, this is evil, but it made me giggle a little bit. They had to scramble to find somebody to like work days that I worked because nobody wanted to work the days I worked with the original vet techs because everyone was like in school or everyone was like off and I did cover most weekends because again I wanted the extra money it was like $12 an hour like back a year or two ago that was pretty good I mean now it's like bare minimum but still with this economy bare minimum but yeah Sorry, me just like crap talking my work. But yeah, no, everyone there was really sweet except for like two or three people that just like they didn't tell me what I was doing wrong and they didn't tell me that I needed to like fix what I was doing wrong. So I didn't I didn't learn from it. And that's one of the biggest things. If you don't tell someone that they're doing something wrong and then you talk behind their back and then they hear about it later, of course, it's going to kill their confidence and it's going to make them not want to work for you anymore. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just like management 101. You don't do that. But this is just me like whining about it at this point. <laughs> oh, well, there's 30 people here. My bad. I'm just casually over here like <laughs> talking about my work, my work uh, opportunity and stuff. My work history. I wouldn't even say opportunity. If I ever do get another job at the vet, which I'm really hesitant to because of my experience at the vet, 
I want it to be like a really positive workplace that actually teaches me what I'm doing is like wrong or right. You know? And I really do hope everyone gets a job at a place like that. That's like... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. Like, I hope everyone gets the opportunity to work at a place where it's positive environment, you're being taught, you know, like, what you're doing is right or wrong, and you can learn from it. Because I think that was the most stressful thing about my job is I felt like I wasn't learning from it, and I felt like I was just being belittled, like, every time. But yeah. Anyways, on to a... a <laughs> A happier conversation or a happier topic. Um, I'm finishing up my series now to be released. I want to finish like three or four episodes before I release, but I know that's unrealistic because it's going to take me like a month to get all of that done and I just don't have the time for it. But I'm going to work like one week on one series and then another week on another series and just push them out like twice a month. I'm going to have like new episodes. Which seems like not a lot, but I don't, I have three series running right now. I, I have to like prioritize one or both of them and a prioritize both, prioritize, oh my God, I can't speak, prioritize both of them. I have to like, I have to take time to do both editing jobs. Editing isn't just like an easy peasy thing. I, I do put a lot of detail into my editing as you guys know, and it takes me a little bit longer because of that. Sound effects, extra effects, um, CGI, like. <sighs> CGI has been kicking me in the butt recently because Sony Vegas Pro, you know, it's a it's a pro editor. So a lot of like professional editors use it. And I didn't realize how difficult it would be to learn a lot of the effects that, you know, professionals use. But I'm learning slowly but surely. I'm happy you guys like it. I was really iffy about the design. It's uneven. So like it's not it's not completely even. Is that a little no, I was gonna say, is that a little fence I see that wasn't clipped? So it's like it does not look even at all on the map, but I like how it's uneven. It looks like it still kind of does look even, like right here, obviously not even to over here. This kind of looks even, but I, I want it to be uneven and look like odd. After Effects, see, After Effects was easy to learn for me, especially with, like, the the drag tool. It was fun. I liked learning After Effects, but Sony Vegas Pro, it's, like, it just, it makes me mad. No, Val, it's going to look exactly like that. I don't know how they did the baby in Twilight. Like, this sounds so judgmental, but so badly. Like, how do you mess up a baby that bad? In the nicest way possible. No, I'm not right. As of right now, I'm not a professional promise. I, I wish I did it professionally. I mean, I have a lot of editing opportunities, but I don't know yet. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the right, the right job to come along. I have a feeling that it's going to be soon, though, but I don't know yet. All right. Oh, I knew it. I knew I saw one earlier. Wait. Oh. Because I didn't make it double. Oopsies. Oopsies. You guys didn't see that. Yeah, the stream isn't going to be super long. I'm just telling you guys now. I'm going to try and make it like an hour and a half. I do have dinner tonight, but um, it's not like a super important dinner. But I want to be ready for it in time and I have to shower and do my hair. I bought a new heat protectant for my hair. So I went to the hairdressers, right? Um, I, I got a new hairdresser because the one I like usually go for, she's like, she was on maternity leave 
and then i asked hey which one because i forgot her name i was like hey which which hairdresser was on maternity leave and they were like they said a name and i was like okay yeah that sounds because it started with a c and i was like yeah that's the one so i scheduled her i showed up and i'm like this is not my hairdresser and she's like i don't think i've ever seen you before and i'm like yeah no we i've never met you before but i was like i really need to like get my hair done because i haven't gotten it done in like a year almost a year now and it's grown out and my hair's yucky and i just told her like should i go natural like should i just dye my hair back to like brown with some highlights because i do have natural highlights in my hair i was blonde when i was a baby so like or when i was younger so like i still have those like natural like tinted highlights in my hair but I've just been getting like blonde highlights and she took one look at my hair and she went, your hair's really damaged. And I was like, yeah, not even from like highlights. It's because our water here, it's called hard water. It has like a bunch of minerals and stuff in it. That's really abrasive to hair. We'd have to get a filter put on our well, which costs a good bit of money. So I was like, I don't really know what to do for my hair. She's like, well, what you can do is just do like repair stuff. Um, don't wash your hair so often. And then she did like the least um, invasive treatment to my hair during that process. And even like now my hair's like, I just, it just seems like so unhealthy and I can't do anything about it. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. My friend suggested maybe um, showering in like, like grabbing a gallon of water at the store and like shower like washing my hair like once a week but my hair after like three or four days my hair gets like greasy and i don't like that but um yeah i got my hair done again and i'm thinking of just dyeing it back to brown after this and just going with that having like really light blonde highlights because i don't want my hair to be ruined <laughs> i'm only 21 i want decent hair okay so the dandelions actually placed down look cute they actually look yellow. But like, that's the thing. My hair has always been super healthy. I've been taking um, hair, skin, and nails vitamins for the longest time. And I did tell her, I was like, listen, I'm ha like, I have a like undiagnosed condition or something like that with like cysts and stuff. She's like, well, yeah, if it was, if it was a condition though, your, your roots would also be dead, but your roots aren't. She's like, to a certain point, your hair is really healthy. She's like, but lower down, it's, it's not. Which is funny because I I usually, every time I go to the hairdresser and get highlights, I always get like a good bit chopped off. I get like four to five inches chopped off, which is why my hair has always been like a medium length. The last time I had long hair, it was dead. Like the ends of my hair, they, it was dead and I just didn't chop it off because I was like, ooh, long hair things, you know? I've never had super healthy, like strong, long hair. That's just genetics and I don't have that. So... I have to also remember that when I had long hair, my hair was dead, so I have to get it chopped off to a certain amount. Thankfully, I like my hair shorter. Not like super short, not like Lord Farquaad short. I swear if somebody ever cuts my hair that short, I would cry, but short enough that it's like, it's tolerable. Like it's, I can still put it in a ponytail. I can still put it half up, half down. My hair's very thin, so it's like, I have to embrace the fact that i'm not gonna be able to do every single hairstyle but you know I, like i know a lot of people with thin hairstyles and i've always wanted extensions but you have to get them done every like six to eight weeks Okay, well, that's not the kind of tree I want. I hate how, like, it's so close to the ground. I don't like that. Anyways. Yeah, like, I... I And I can't go darker because I'm not... Like, I'm not super pale, but I'm pale enough that if I go darker, I'm going to look even paler. And blonde is, like... Blonde and brown is, like, the perfect consistency to keep my skin, like, looking... Like, my skin tone looking good. If I go too blonde, then it just looks weird. But I have I have green eyes, so like the perfect amount of blonde and like brown, it evens it out and my eyes look like my eyes pop. There we go. I don't know. 
I know a lot of people have like the same thing where they just like they have that one color that they're they don't want to go to but I've, I've always wanted to dye my hair like darker I've always wanted to dye my hair like not black but like really dark brown with some like lighter brown highlights but I'm scared I feel like I'm not gonna like it and then I'm gonna have to wait like eight to nine months for my health my hair to get healthy again to grow it out because I can't with my hair beans like thinner I can't just turn around and just be like yeah I don't like this color I'm gonna redye it unless I want to kill my hair oh thank you Wolfie for the subscribe and also white storm sorry I didn't say thank you to Wolfie I didn't hear it <laughs> Hello. Oh, Kayla, I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm happy you got a new dog named Honey. That's so cute. I hope you enjoy your new dog. I like that. I think I'm definitely going to make some custom trees, though. Or at least like cover these up a little bit. I don't like how uneven it looks, like lopsided. We don't like the lopsided trees. Oh wait, is it gonna rain? I know it was raining earlier, but is it gonna storm rain is what I meant. Let me look at my weather weather forecast thing. Is it gonna storm today? No, it's just gonna rain. Oh my god, it's gonna rain all day today. And then half the day tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Tomorrow's a gym type of day as well. I want to just go for like one or two runs a week on our road, but with the weather being so gross now, it's like this, it, there's a cold front coming in, so it won't be too gross for too long. Ah, you're, you're, my gosh, you're committed. You're subscribing on two more accounts. Oh, one more account. Thank you. Thank you for the subscribe. What kind of wood is this? It's just this dark oak. No, it's spruce. I was about to say, that does not look like dark oak. There we go. I like the spruce log for the chair, for the, like the, yeah, sunny blossom. But I, for this barn, since it's like oak based, I just want oak, oak wood. And look, look at the leaves falling from it. They have like leaves that fall. See that? Isn't that cute? Okay, and then we can put like the stuff around it. We can put a little bit of um, these. And I'll make some custom trees to replace some of these trees because I don't want the trees to look too repetitive. And I know you guys like custom trees, so. Now, do we want the arena to be the same sort of thing as this? I do want a little lake in here. 
I think right here is a perfect little spot for a lake or a pond. I'm not going to call it a lake. It's not going to be that big. Um, oh, wait. It's... No. What is it? It's not cylinder. What is it? Is it circle? No, I thought it was cylinder. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. <laughs> I almost just peed my pants. That was so loud. I'm sorry. My god. I don't know if that was that loud on your guys' device, but that actually scared me. I jumped. That was all of the grass and the the blocks above like where I <laughs> where I started the cylinder. That's they all broke at once and it like it was so like it wasn't even like loud as much as it just oh it spooked me. It spooked me real bad. This is how I design my ponds usually. I like to have a two block pond because I like to have fish and stuff in them. We love fishies. And then have a, like, of course, a block on the corner or the side, at least like one to two blocks for the horse to get out. Because the horses can swim on their own and they can get out on their own, but they have to have like that little like lip block, you know, that block that like allows them to get up on normal land. I see my horses swim in their ponds by themselves, but I don't know. Really depends. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to spook anybody with that because I spooked myself real bad. You can get mods on like mobile, but I don't know how to. People have done it before. You have to watch tutorials for that though, but you can't get this mod on mobile a lot of mods you can't get on mobile because mobile is compared to a pc and like operating systems it's very complicated let me do some kelp some lily pads um do some vines do it for the vine do tropical fish i wish we could have like goldfish that would be so cool Why aren't my why are my lily pads looking like this? Usually my lily pads have like flowers on them and stuff. Do I have like a resource pack that I usually have on that I don't? I don't think so. Maybe like enhanced vanilla. Maybe that's it. You can always like import a barn into your world. Like this barn is gonna be like importable. Um, I'm selling like actual barns on um, Ko-Fi, which isn't going to, they're not going to be free, but they're going to be like designer barns. So they're going to be like really fancy schmancy and like well-designed and everything. And they're going to be more like unique in a way, um, which they're not going to be like expensive. At most, they're going to be like $20, $25. And that's like at most. My first ones will probably only be like 5 to $10. Yeah, every month my members get a barn. So if you become a member now, you'll have access to the Melody Grove. If you're a Royal Peach, you'll have access to Melody Grove and Ivy Meadows. And then if you're a Supportive Peach, which I think it's called the Ultimate Peach on YouTube, um, which is like the biggest donator. It's mostly for people who want to support. You'll have access to all of the member barns at all times. 
Um, yeah. Last time I added corals to ponds, I got I got a little I wouldn't say hate for it. Oh there we go, yeah. Now my lily pads look normal ish. I didn't get hate for it as much as people were just like, hey, horses usually like like can like hurt themselves on coral because coral is kind of sharp. So to like don't put that in a pond. And I was like, yeah, no, you're so right, I'm sorry. Yeah, this one is free. The sunflower barn, the one I'm making right now, it's free. I haven't made a I haven't made a free barn since February, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make like two to three free barns a year, like good ones, you know. Can I put buttons underwater? I don't think I can. Please, no. I tried. What I want to do is like do like a lantern. Ooh, I can put lanterns underneath. I'm just gonna spot lanterns everywhere. I think that would be cool. Look at that. I don't know if I like that design, but I like the lanterns there. Oh. Don't do that. There's fishies. We can do some cod and then some salmon because salmon, they're bigger. I'm only gonna do like one or two salmon and do two. I'm just gonna do three cod because they're like half the size of salmon. I think that's a cute pond. Sea pickles? Oh my gosh, I forgot sea pickles existed. And seagrass. Ooh, should we have like a turtle? I don't know, is that like a is that like a safety hazard in like a horse pasture? I'll let you guys choose if you want a turtle. I'm gonna put a turtle in the trailer though. Just saying. I hate the noise. I hate the noise so much. I hope you guys know I'm cringing right now. Ugh. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, it's gonna take me a second to recover from that. That was disgusting. Yeah, in the pasture, that sounds a little dangerous, both for the horse and for the turtle. You'll, you can probably have, like, tortoises in, like, a horse pasture if, like, the horses and the tortoises are, like, desensitized, but, yeah. Yeah, for this barn, you will need swim just because of, like, this right here, swim. This right here, swim. Um, this right here, swim. It's, I think this is going to be moved to SWDM, though, all whitewash stuff for the 1.18. This right here, swim. Like... This right here, swim. Like, I pre there's a lot of stuff that swim and that you need in the mod pack. But if you want to, like, remove swim and then just replace everything in your own way, that's completely fine. Okay. Where would you quality? I don't really like the paddock feeder. I don't know why. I just... I don't like it. I think what I'm gonna do is put like... I don't think I like that. What I wanna do is make a, a little shelter in here. I'm gonna probably make a shelter like right here and I'm gonna move stuff to over there, but I'm gonna wait to do that. Then we can do some flakes of hay.
There we go. Cute little pile of hay. If you ask it, I'll most likely see it. If I don't see it the first time, someone will probably let me know and I'll answer it then. I think that's cute. Yeah. Is that mine? Where was it? I, I put it back in the cabinet. Maybe somebody took it out to find something. It could be. Just keep it in here. Yeah, no, I will with my other medicines. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I didn't do it last night. I'm going to do it today. Okay. He was awake by the time, and he was, like, rolling in the sand. But I, I felt bad doing it last night. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah. That's one thing I have to do is clean out Miso's cage. He was like he was having the time of his life last night, and I felt so bad cleaning out his cage because it's like it kind of stresses him out. And after I clean out his cage, he like doesn't want to. Well, shoot. Okay, know what I have to do now, um, and I don't want to like stress him out even more. Okay, guys, hear me out. We're gonna have to do this instead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I don't like to like clean out his cage if he's having the time of his life because it stresses him out really bad. And then he doesn't want to be held or anything for like a day or so because he's exploring his new cage and everything. Okay, that was a really cute design, but I can't do it. Darn it, so. Oh my gosh, please, game work with me here. I should have known that the horses could get on that block. Don't you dare escape, I swear to God. Newton immediately possessed the horse. Newton's like, where can I escape? How do I get out of here? Why did I so confidently just try to, like, type in wand? Maybe I should just do it like that. Crisis averted. Gosh darn it. I have a whole nother wall to do. Crisis almost averted. Let me let me finish this. Yeah, did you hear Kodiak barking? <laughs> my mom came in because my medicine was on the floor in the kitchen. Like the bottle, not the actual medicine. And she was like, keep this in your room because it can... We don't want anything getting into it. I'm like, yeah, no. Thank you, Eve. You see what you're saying. Yeah, what, what Ice Knight said. Swim is only available and I've already, it was only available on PC. Sorry, I didn't even finish what I was saying. On Windows, Mac, and Linux, or Linux? I don't know how to say it. Um, please don't clown me. And I've already made a tutorial on how to download it on Windows. Mac, I think somebody else has a tutorial on Mac, but I don't know for sure. Like, look at the little, look at the little leaves in the, in the sunlight. Isn't that cute? We're going to put a halter on you. That's so cute. Bye, Heather. Okay, and then I just have to copy and paste this and probably, like, place it over here. I'm probably gonna make it like slightly i don't know i want to make another uneven pasture and make it like not the same but it's it's not as simple as that so we're probably just gonna copy and paste it and again not to make it sound like i'm not gonna try my best to make this like barn as good as it can be but this is a free barn so i don't want to spend like a ton of time on this barn when 
Like, I also have to prioritize, like, paid barns and commissions and member barns, you know? Um, I just want to make a point in saying that before people think I'm, like, you know, like, not trying my best to make this barn good for you guys. Trying my best. I just took the pasture gate out because swim stuff can sometimes bug. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. See, this is what happens. You guys paste. Paste again. And paste again. You basically paste over and over again until all of it loads in. And that's what's... Oh, that pasture. It's, it's going to happen. I'm just going to have to put that in the tutorial. You guys are just going to have to paste it over and over again until it works. And I hate to be like that. And I hate to make you guys have to do that. But since there's so much, like, decoration with the flower boxes and everything and the swim, like, fences, I just don't want anyone's game to be corrupt. I don't know. I'll have to ask Riley about that because if it's too much, I may have to make a whole new fence design. Hello? What is up with this? But if you guys are chill with it, I'm chill with it. Everything's great. Everything's fine. That does look a little uneven right there. I kind of want to move this pasture back now, but at the same time, I think it'll be okay. And then right here, we can just have like a little like forest area. Right here, maybe we can have like a an arena back here. I kind of want to have it here, so I'll explain it. So... If you walk out, you'll have two pastures. I kind of want to have an arena over here. Something over here, like a cross-country course or something like that. And then an arena over here. So I don't know what I'm going to put over here just yet. But there's going to be like two arenas kind of diagonal to each other. Maybe some lunging pens or something over here. And then like, I don't know what I'm going to put over here. I'm going to have like four or five things you can download. And again, this is going to be off Ko-Fi. So you guys can pick and choose what you want to put in your world. If you maybe just only want the arena, only want the barn that kind of thing. Um, as always, you guys can just pick and choose what you want to add to your property. Yeah, there will be commissions. I'm not sure on commissions exactly. Because what if I what if you guys give me like a build or like a reference that I'm like, bestie, I don't know how to tell you this, but I can't do this very well. And then I disappoint them by not being able to build. But I have been talking to some people about maybe splitting commission fees because I don't want to charge a ton for commissions and then have them help me build it. So. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to work a little bit more on the barn later tonight because I want to get I want to make like custom um designs so I will show this this is this is the member barn I'm gonna look down okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna slip right in here I will show this really quick I kind of want like a wall design like this like you know like separators but I don't know uh Good night, Zebra. But yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Anyways, everyone, I've been going for about an hour and a half. And I really do love streaming, especially when there's a good bit of, good bit of people watching. Oh my gosh. But I have to go get ready to go to dinner in like an hour or so and I have a lot of other stuff to do today on top of that so I, I woke up really late sleep debt you know really sunk in so what I'm gonna do is go and shower and then work for a little bit and then go to dinner and then tomorrow I have no stream but I am gonna be posting something tomorrow and then Saturday for members only um, we're gonna be doing some fun stuff and then Sunday 
we're going to be doing some Minecraft, some Red Dead Redemption 2, possibly some Star Stable. I don't know. I'll just decide when I get online, but I'm thinking about doing like three or four games and having like a two to three hour stream because I always cut my Sunday streams really short. Like as in I don't stream for like four to five hours because I can't stream for that long. Like I lose, I lose the ability to focus <laughs> real quick. So yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this barn when it does come out. If you guys want to watch any of the last streams, feel free to. Um, but I'm not sure if you guys will find this interesting at, interesting at all. Oh my god. Can't speak. Yeah. All right, everyone. Goodbye.